Here in High Wycombe, housing's a really crucial issue. That's social housing and affordable housing, and indeed housing for everybody. But today I've come along to find out how the Project 2011 is doing. What they have is a model which allows rents to adjust to people's circumstances. So with us having the costs of being so close to London, without, but without key workers in particular enjoying a London waiting in their pay, I'm really interested to find out how 2011 can cater for people and provide the affordable and social housing that we need. Alan, thanks so much for having me back. I think it was April last year that I came along. You were just launching the pilot, I think, for 2011. So why don't you tell me about what's happened since? Uh, first of all, welcome back, Steve. I can't believe it's over a year since we had our last conversation about 2011. Uh, we managed to go live in September 2018 where we welcomed our very first tenant and we're just going through the first tenancy renewal cycle for that particular tenant. We now have over 100 properties available for 27 customers and we've moved from our sixth month pilot into our full two year trial. So far we've managed to achieve all of our financial objectives and our social outcomes as well and what we're seeing is some real green shoots now around how we're helping our customers to realise their potential. So as you go ahead tell me a bit about how the rents will be adjusted because that's part of your programme isn't it making sure the rents are truly affordable so how do the rents change as people's lives develop? You're absolutely right. Uh, two of the key drivers for 2011 uh, from our existing customer base was one was affordability of rents and the other was antisocial behaviour. Uh, in terms of the affordability of rents, they, the rents are set on a personalised basis based on the household income. Um, so our, one of our stated objectives is where people are on housing benefit or on universal credit, um, that the aim is to give people life choices by moving away from benefit dependency over a period of time. Just untangle that a bit for us so that taxpayers will understand why that's a good thing all around. That's actually a crucial point about our model in that it's able to reflect people who move away from benefits into both low paid work where we're able to reduce rents downwards and also those that are able to prosper where the household income increases over a period of time and when we review the rents we can actually increase those rents slightly to take that into account and therefore it produces a fair and balanced model for everybody. So that sounds like it's one of the keys to ending what we've often called a benefit trap where it isn't worth people coming off benefits to go into work that's low paid and it sounds to me like what you're doing is through reducing the rent to f because as a consequence of their household income being where it is that means they're still incentivised to go into work where they otherwise might not be. That's absolutely right and, and when we were developing 2011 uh, we were working alongside Sheffield Hallam University who are conducting an independent assessment as we go. One of the things that I, I think was quite a stark reality for us was the point at which people would choose to be on uh, pay their own rent rather than be on a housing benefit was only a difference of £20 a month. So as soon as people were £20 a month better off by moving into work, they would choose to do so willingly rather than be on housing benefit. And that is stark, isn't it? it That's is. a real reminder for people of the condition that some people live in. What we're really proud of is our community potential service. It's an offer to our customers that enables the household to look at their aspirations and goals and what they want to achieve in the future. And our team use a solution focus approach to actually help map that out through a personal success plan, working alongside a network of partners that actually help our customers to achieve those goals. So as you go forwards from here, how optimistic are you that this model is going to work, that it's going to be in uh, tenants' best interests and that it's overall going to transform lives for the better? We're very optimistic based on the outcomes of our six month pilot. Um, we saw some real green shoots that um, really inspired us to, to, to move forward. Things, for instance, um, uh, like the fact that there's a high engagement with us as, a, as an organisation, so 72% of all of our tenants are highly engaged with us, 99% use digital means to contact us. Uh, we're seeing that there's high levels of satisfaction with the home and the area that people live in. Um, and where we're able to base that against other registered providers, we're finding that um, through the Sheffield Hallam study, 
that people's personal well-being, their social capital, their personal capital is higher going into a 2011 home than it otherwise would be. Well, let me tell you, Alan, I am inspired by that. I've said time and again we need to be a society that reaches out to people where they are and helps them up, and that sounds to me like it's exactly what you're doing. Moving away from the bricks and mortar first to the person first sounds fantastic, and I really wish you every success. Thanks very much, Steve. It was great talking to Alan about how things are going with 2011 and there's certainly a lot that's happened in the last year. Since launching, 2011 now has nearly 1,200 customers who've registered an interest in becoming 2011 tenants and are working their way through the registration process. The first tenants and their families were signed up in September 2018 and since then a further 66 families have signed up. A further 44 homes are due to become available over the next couple of months, which will mean more homes being let within our community at personalised rents that are truly affordable. 71% of tenants who have been offered the opportunity of working with the community potential specialists have responded positively, keen to work with 2011 to realise their potential. Over 50% of those tenants, half, now have personal success plans capturing their ambitions and their first steps to success. The Tenancy Sustainment Licence, which operates like a driving licence but for tenancies, is showing encouraging signs already, with positive points accounting for 88% of all points awarded. What does this mean? It means that 2011 is seeing early antisocial activity being nipped in the bud and positive engagement by tenants with their community potential specialist and the community around them. With a community focus, it's great to hear how tenants of 2011 are embracing this part of the offer, with an independent study identifying an increase in volunteering and involvement in community groups. So the team have certainly been busy and it looks like the impact for tenants and the community right here in High Wycombe is looking good. Now to meet 2011's newest tenant who is just about to receive the keys to her new home. Well I'm here to say here are your keys to your Thank new you 2011 much. home. It's Thank my real you. privilege to give them to you and this is your welcome pack. Oh lovely, thank you. And are you pleased with the home you're going to? We're very pleased, yes. Represent the step up from where you were before? Yes, very much, yeah. It would be nice to have our own space and our own home. Brilliant, fantastic. So as I drive away from uh, 2011, I'm really impressed by the level of community interest with 1,200 families registering their willingness to get involved. It can clearly be seen to be an attractive offer. The rents being set based on household income, of course, means that there's flexibility. People aren't disincentivized from coming off benefits and they can get on and flourish and really improve their, their circumstances. And the impact is there. It's being studied by Sheffield Hallam and um, they can see that people's quality of life, their ability to flourish and develop a sense of place and move on in their lives is there and the evidence is being collected in a systematic way. So I wish uh, 2011 every possible success as they go forwards.